Revelation chapter number 8 verse number 3 and another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayer of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne in chapter number eight verse number one tells us that john had saw or witnessed when the lamb of god had opened the seventh seal and after he opened the seventh seal it tells us at first that there was a silence in heaven and then john saw something he saw seven angels in heaven and seven trumpets were given to those seven angels now verse number three brings us up to where we are right now and another angel came and stood so you had the seven angels with the seven trumpets now you have another angel that came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and we're going to go to our image here and what we have here is an image of a golden censer censer amen so we can look at it and we can see that this is the smoke from the incense that's actually coming up and you can actually see the gold just so you can try to get an idea of a golden censer so you can visualize it in your mind and we're going to show you another image and this is an image of an angel at the altar now we know we talked about this and we're going to read about this in a little a moment this altar of incense amen god commanded moses to make an altar of incense when he made the tabernacle once again we explained that there were two altars there was a large altar that was made of bronze that was used to offer up the blood offering and the grain offerings and the different offerings like that that altar was fairly large like seven feet seven and a half feet by seven and a half feet where the altar of incense was small and it was to offer up sweet smelling incense day and night in the tabernacle and we know that it was a cubit and a half and a cubic was approximately 18 inches so a cubic and a half was like 27 inches so that was the width and that was the breadth of it. and it stood two cubics high which is about 18 plus 18 if I do my math that's about 36 about three feet high so that what this was and this angel was before this altar and this angel was given much incense or oh, this angel was given incense let's go back over to our scriptures and the angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayer of all the saints so we find out that the altar that God gave Moses was just a image of the actual golden offer that was offering incense up in heaven amen so we're gonna go and we're gonna actually read if we come over here to our treasury of scriptures if we go to Exodus chapter number 30 verse number 8 now we're not gonna read all of this but we want you to go ahead and read the rest of it uh, we're just gonna read a little bit of it so we're gonna come over to our treasury of scriptures and we're gonna read Exodus the 30th chapter verse number 1 and we're just gonna read a little bit of this but please go back in your spare time and read all of this to get all the details and thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon a shittim wood shalt thou make it a cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be of the same. And it goes on and it says, And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold. Uh, and it gives us more description you can go and read all of this and it talks about the crown shall be gold but I and I stand corrected I earlier had said it was a cubic and a half but actually it was a cubic which was 18 inches approximately 18 inches wide approximately 18 inches in breadth 
So this is where God gave Moses to make this altar. And this altar, like I said, was representation of the actual golden altar that he has in heaven. Amen. We're going to get more more into this, but our verse deals a little bit with it and shall offer it. He was given much incense and offer it with the prayers of the saints. The prayers of the saints are going up to heaven via this golden altar and mixed with sweet smelling savory incense. Wow. That's something. It, you know how it is when you're praying and it seems like your your prayers are bouncing off the wall. Well, I, I have news for you. If you are earnestly praying to God, they're not bouncing off the wall. They're going directly to heaven. To the altar, the golden altar of incense. As a sweet smelling fragrance before God the Father. Amen. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Amen. We're going to dig more into this in a little bit later. But God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you have your way. Give wisdom, give knowledge, give direction, and help your people everywhere. Bless, save, sanctify, and fill with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, thank God. Amen. Have a wonderful day.